Giovanni Letford briefly met the prince and his fiancée, Meghan Markle, when they visited Represent Radio Station in Brixton, South London on Tuesday. 28-year-old DJ slipped the engaged royal a card with his contact details on it. Prince Harry smiled as he put the DJ's card in his suit jacket pocket. Mr. Letford mapped out his plans for how he would entertain the guests on GMB at the royal wedding and even has plans to get the Queen up dancing. A cheeky DJ who slipped his business card to Prince Harry has made his pitch to play at his wedding, and vowed to get the Queen on the dance floor. Giovanni Letford briefly met the Prince and his fiancée, Meghan Markle, when they visited Represent Radio Station in Brixton, South London on Tuesday and the 28-year-old slipped the engaged royal a card with his contact details on it, telling him, I'll DJ at your wedding. Prince Harry smiled as he put the DJ's card in his suit jacket pocket. On Good Morning Britain today, Mr. Letford mapped out his plans for how he would entertain the guests at the royal wedding and even has plans to get the Queen up dancing. The ITV show host Susanna Reid said, You've got the experience and you know exactly what you do at every moment of the set. And to get the Queen on the dance floor, what would you play? Mr. Letford replied, I'd probably do a remix of the National Anthem and whoever sits down at the National Anthem. Ms. Reid remarked, Guaranteed to get everyone on the dance floor. Speaking about his plans for the whole event, Mr. Letford said he would start with Beyoncé and Luther Vandross the closer I get to you for the first dance and end with journeys don't stop believing. He said, I think with this wedding it's quite unique. There would have to be an element of tradition but I would throw in a few surprises as well. The first song is quite a romantic song and talks about two people getting together two people from different sides of the world. That's quite a good song to cement their union. I'd probably play This Is How We Do It, to get the party started. I can image Her Royal Highness doing a two-step to it as well. The last song would be Don't Stop Believing. Some people say the first impression and last impression is what counts. Nobody really cares what's in the middle. I've had weddings where we have a mix and they've performed a dance routine. I've done a flash mob, where the groom had no idea what was happening and everyone did the Harlem Shake. I definitely play a bit of Ed Sheeran at the wedding and I'd get a bit of Stormzy in there as well. Prince Harry loves his grime and maybe even Wiley because he got an MBE and that would be the second time he's in their presence. They haven't been in touch yet but my phone is on loud and I'm ready for the call. I've blocked out May 19th. Ms. Reed said, do you know what? If they don't hire you, they're crazy. It sounds like you've got it all planned. Mr. Letford is a fully qualified lawyer who runs his own events firm, called Chicken and Beer. He also DJs and presents for Represent Radio Station in Brixton. He insisted he didn't plan to give the prince his business card as he didn't expect to get so close. How the set list could look if Meghan and Harry snap up DJ for their royal wedding. He said, we live in an age where if you meet someone you just exchange your details. Last year I made the decision to print business cards and also make sure they stand out. When he held it, he was quite surprised and was like, what is that and then I said it's if you need someone to DJ at your wedding. They were really down to earth, they were really humble individuals and they were very interested in what we were doing at Represent. They were just easy to talk to and very personable. 
I DJ and present on represent so I knew they were coming but I didn't think that, one, I'd get close enough to Prince Harry.